know. <laughs> Anything you need, just let me know. <laughs> He's such a nervous, nervous guy, dude. Turn TV on. What? <clears throat> 121. I'm gonna override it. Yes, I'm gonna override it. Boss, you asked me to remind you about getting the chopper from Fort Zancudo. I know you haven't forgotten, have you? Yes, seeing these. What kind of TV show is this? Let's get out of here. <laughs> are you kidding me? Alright, we are going to... What is that? The heist setup? That's where we're headed right now. I, uh, where's the heist setup at? It was way up here. I have, I feel like we did that already, but all right. Find out. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of the way, man. So I learned HS's heist setup from the last time I played. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if it's the same heist as as the uh, sub one. We'll find out. These drivers out here, though, right? Crazy. Crap. Crap. Dude, you're supposed to be down there. What? Oh, right. Here we go. <laughs> Just trunk pops open. Bouncing around. Beat the semi. Yeah. You're a fine fucking fool. You play Crazy Taxi? Huh? Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'll turn my headlights on. It's my flashers. I don't remember how to turn my headlights on. Oh god. Is he gonna pull me over? That'd be hilarious if he did. I've never seen a speed trap before in the game. I guess you don't care. <laughs> Just fly by him at 80 miles an hour on a 45 and he don't give a rip. Must have been drinking coffee and eating donuts, right? Right? Of course. Because all cops do that. Wow, this is really far up here. I feel like I've been through these foothills in California before. They look pretty familiar. Oh, snap. That'd be terrible if I went through that concrete barrier all the way down to the ocean. Drive, Trevor. Bro, the car's all messed up, isn't it? All right, time for a new ride. What's going Jackass, on? Get her off. 
What is going on? Stole your car, bro. You have mine. Just got a broken axle. So it's got three axles. Maybe a flat tire. But yours is a lot faster. I like yours a lot better. Where the heck is this place, man? The, wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, wait, maybe it just doesn't show inside the tunnel? Maybe? Tell me that that's why, right? Tell me. Okay. What the heck? Wait, was I supposed to take like a helicopter there or something? I don't understand. Was I supposed to run up there? No oh, shit. Okay. I'm super confused. Oh, maybe this is like a secret base or something. Let's try this. We made it. Oh god. <laughs> I just stepped out of my car. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Dead. What the heck? So confused. Steal the what? Brief. Mission. Cargo Bob. Steal the cargo Bob. What's a cargo Bob? What the heck? Oh, look at the moon. That's cool. Apparently, we drove the wrong way. I abandoned the cargo Bob. The dummy. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to like sneak in here. All right. Maybe that's the whole gimmick. Only took me a couple of tries to figure that out. Okay, wait. Sir, leave the area now. This is for authorized personnel only. Where are you? Hello? <laughs> Do you see me? <laughs> my rifle oh no well how am I supposed to steal this flipping thing I'm supposed to get a helicopter or something what the heck this cargo bob at honestly I feel like I'm supposed to like fly in there I don't understand maybe I shouldn't do this heist yet that's kind of where I'm leading at this point. But they forgot about me. That's good. All right. Maybe the cargo bomb I'm supposed to sneak in from below. That's why it took me to that tunnel, I wonder. Questionable.
Oh no. How did you all see me? That's dumb. Wait, what? Oh no. You're a marine, huh? Watch this. Marine scum. <laughs> All right. There ain't no way I'm getting over there. What the heck is going on here? Mm. What's this Bob thing at? Is that it? I can't. I can't even tell. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna restart this. I'm gonna restart it. Can I restart? You play strangers or what? You play a mission. Replay is unavailable while on a mission. What the heck? <clears throat> All right, I guess I have to go. Be killed or something? <clears throat> Cargo Bob is the helicopter, so I don't need both, I don't think. Need either either the submarine or the cargo bob. This is so silly. Wish I could just die, kill myself. Kill myself. Or I could just actually do this. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Not while on a mission, I guess. This is so ridiculous. can't see me yet they're alerted okay what the what the heck what did I trip over a rabbit You gotta be kidding me. Get back. Stop. Stop running. I said get back, but I meant get back here. I guess you're just what, tired? Is that why you're falling all over the place? Stamina is low. And there's no way of getting in this base. I don't understand. Not from where I'm at. I have an idea. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna try something. Well, I guess. Hello? Sir, leave the area now! 
This is for authorized personnel only. What's up, Lagoza? How you doing? Yes. All right, now we're in. Ow. We're super hurt, though. We're just headed straight for it. Doing pretty good, man. Can't complain too much. Oh, no. There it is. Can't complain. We're just having a good old time here. All right. Oh, no. We got more coming. We're trying to steal this helicopter. We've been circling around the uh, perimeter for a minute. Trying to figure out what to do. All right. Now we got to figure out how to take off. I don't even know, dude. Go, go, go. Lose the military chopper. Oh, no. Bro, how do you fly? <laughs> Bro, I don't even know how to go. What the heck? I forget, like, it doesn't explain exactly how to do this stupid stuff. Uh, okay, so, key bindings. What are the key bindings for uh, aircraft, again? It's been a while. <laughs> So throttle up is W and uh, throttle down. Okay, and then A and D, that's fine. Uh, pitch forward is what? I can't even. Oh, that's the. Uh, all right, all right. We, we might have it, maybe. There we go. How do we. Uh, how do you lose a helicopter? It's like technically faster than you. Doesn't make sense. Well, my day was pretty good, Lagoza. I, um, a little bit longer day uh, at my second job, but that's fine. Only like by 30 minutes, so, you know, nothing to complain about, honestly. Nothing at all. Otherwise, it was pretty fantastic. Nothing badly happened, so that's good. I didn't drop any skids today on my, you know, on my forklift. Um, you know. How you doing, Trav? Fine. For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's the heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. Look at the right. view, dude. Look at this view at nighttime. It's so, it's so cool. And the and the moon, like holy heck. Oh, we were at this uh, hell at this. Um, we were at this this airbase uh, at one point also. Pretty sure. Doing animating. I saw you did uh, the wedding one. That's pretty cool. So was that like a commission that you did? Or, or what was that all about? That was pretty legit. Try to land this thing smooth. We'll see how we can do. How we do. How we do. Oh, that helipad's already taken. All right, we're good. We're good. Ah, go back. Go back. Go back. All right, not too bad.
All right, after a little bit of trying to figure out a secretive way in the base, we just kind of just went YOLO and ran in there. You got paid for that one? Nice, dude. Charged a lot, but eh, got to make a living somehow. Dude, that's pretty awesome. Like, I'm no expert, but if I tried, I feel like I can do do that kind of stuff, man. That's really cool. Like, if I spent as much time as I can imagine you do on it, then I think I can, I can learn how to do that. My only thing is, and the thing that scared me away from anything in life, really, is, uh, is the insurance. Having, having insurance from UPS is everything for me. This is Steve. He says, uh, he texted me and I said, I need you all at the lot in El Burrow Heights for a face to face. Don't be late. Oh, Steve's the, uh, the jerk off FBI agent. So, mm, we'll see how this goes. Learning curve is steep, but once it clicks, it clicks. It's fantastic, dude. Wait. So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. <laughs> and prostitutes. We need food and prostitutes. That'll get us through life. Trevor, you silly, man. I was talking to some people about benefits recently who work in the corporate world. Yeah, in insurance is... Crazy expensive, and it's not fun to deal with. So I guess we're going to the H or B. I don't even know. Where are we going? The H is the heist, right? I guess. Let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Federal Investigation Bureau. Assassination. Is there an H somewhere? The Meriwether Heist, Strangers and Freaks, Sandy Shores. Where is the burrow thing he was talking about? I guess I guess that's that's that. Where are we currently? I don't even know. Where the heck are we currently? I don't know how to use this map yet. <laughs> uh, I think we're like here-ish. Oh, we're right there. Okay. So we're going to try and figure out what's the best thing to do here. And I guess let's just go do the heist. Why not? Why the heck not? The Meriwether heist. <clears throat> what's funny is the benefits may not be as big as it seems. The benefit to have benefits. Most paid employees, most pay employees less than they would nor normally take that amount and put it towards the benefits. Oh, okay, so like the money you're making, you're saying any, uh, any extra above what you would make in an office setting, you would pay towards benefits. So it kind of creates an illusion Kind of sad, but it makes sense. Kind of, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I, I don't. I mean, man, I agree with you. I think until see my benefits. I work part time, right? And let's say part time, I make let's say like what do I make? Like twenty five grand a year, right? But my benefits are paid for. So, I mean, I don't know. I make, um, what do I make? What did I make this year? I think I made 48, 48,000 between both jobs. And I did not have to pay benefits.
Random numbers, but say you're getting paid 50000 Sure, sounds about right, yep. The employer expects to pay 60, they pay you 50, the extra 10 towards benefits in reality. Still paying for the benefits usually. Yeah, yeah, well that's the thing, okay. That's what I was gonna say though, like that's the thing. In the corporate world, you, s I kind of agree with your um, illustration and the fact that you pay, pay less and you still gotta pay for benefits. But see, I don't pay for benefits at all. So I think it comes out even better. Like I, I pay zero premiums. The only thing I do pay on a monthly basis is $60 for union dues from UPS. So personally, I just kind of like chalk that up as paying a premium for insurance. But where in the world, anywhere in the entire world, literally, are you going to be able to get uh, medical, dental, and vision for $60 a month for your entire family. Nowhere. But the honest reality is I don't, you know, I, I don't go around asking my friends and family, hey, how much are your benefits? What does it cover? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, do you have vision? Do you have dental? That sort of thing. Like, I don't grill people on their insurance. But I really, like in the back, back of my mind, I really want to know this kind of stuff. Because for all I know, my benefits are just the same as anybody else. You know, and they're making, you know, let's say, you know, 10 to 20 grand more than I am. A year so I don't know like maybe it's just my perception of my insurance that keeps me going but who knows without getting down to the nitty-gritty then it is what it is that's how you justify being on my own you're gonna to have to be paying for benefits anyways so you do have insurance. You said you were like 25, right? Like a, a lot of 25 year olds would probably, if you do have insurance, you know, kudos to you because a lot of young people think to themselves like, oh, I don't need insurance. I'm young and fit. And I don't have any issues yet. And it's kind of sad because even my friend at UPS who has benefits, he's even told me before, he said, I don't go to the, the eye doctor and get my yearly exam because what's the point? Or similarly, he says, I don't go to the dentist until my teeth hurt. Well, you gotta get your cleanings. Just take it. It's thrift store anyway. You gotta get your teeth clean to be able to keep your teeth healthy. Like I get the idea of not hurting, so don't worry about it necessarily, but how is it gonna be uh, cavity free? Or or you know clean in general oh, I am so if you sorry. don't get those bi-yearly cleanings so you got health and dental that's that's good yeah okay yeah eye exams i can see like eye exams are a great example of something that you don't necessarily need i would recommend anybody I quite honestly don't do it and I should, but I would recommend getting like an eye exam semi often at least to check for, for cataracts or whatever they do. It's like, it's a very minimal fee, at least for me. Um, it, it is in fact extra cost for me to get the like cataracts screening. It's like $18 or something. Um, but they, they do the eye exam free, but just not the cataracts thing. Which like basically almost literally just like shines a light in the back of your eye and sees if it finds whatever they find. <laughs> I've done that several times, but I don't think it's a, you know, a viable thing every year. All right, let's get this heist started. Wait, boy, one of you shits must be here. 
Hello, Trevor. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. Oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. <laughs> I got a, a hot lip the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! Good, good. Uh, that looks oh, Trevor's hard at work, huh? Awkward. <laughs> Where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy. And the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey. Hey, hey we're right. just talking about you, dude. You and him, the old father-son issues, gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent. Fuck, you want to go? <laughs> no, I'm good, though. Hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. The fuck are you talking Trevor about? Trevor said a jerk, Shut geez. the fuck up, Michael. All right, you owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds. But for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses. You know, a carrion eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd! All right, now, Floyd's got not to fuck get out of here. All right? Now, Floyd here works the support. He puts me on the Meriwether security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Take a slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. Okay. <laughs> Man, Trevor's always a riot. These stories are cool, though. What's cool is this scenario Sandy can work airfield, if you in your please. favor. If you're doing contract freelance work, they aren't on a salary and they don't pay anything to benefits. So you get to pocket all the extra money and handle benefits how you want. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. It's kind of on your terms, so... You're probably saving a whole lot. No doubt. And I guess, yeah, you don't go in like a group plan or whatever like the company would like you to. And with, with all kinds of benefits that you don't need. Totally makes a lot of sense. Sandy Shores. That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. Well, I've been told your generation are work shy. Repeatedly, but this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life, man. It's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? <laughs> you think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling, and going halfway across the state. Ain't you looking? And going halfway across the state is still a. Uh, Going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc. Trevor, Trevor Phillips Industries. Trevor Phillips, gotcha. <laughs> I didn't know. Industries or Incorporated. If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just right, you bozo. You're mocking me. Nice. Is it. Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off, but still. Trevor, it's a business, Michael. An honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. This is cool. We're taking the highway all the way plug. over to Sandy Shores. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. 
The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you. He's got a good point. That's just what this world needs. Shit! Full of Trevors, done. yeah. <laughs> It that would be, be bad. Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better Trevor's off on one your bad own, dude to no, this no, no. world. Hey, look, hey. So on average, oh, an employee can get paid $150 right. daily we with the extra money being put to towards benefits. There is profit. Can charge be something paid. crazy like I mean, $500 a day because I'm not by G -Man on payroll. And forced to work for free. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. All right. We're stuck. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going That's quite the markup, dude. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. Oh, man, if you're, submarine if you got the talent, then you're definitely worth it. You had the flying lessons, right? Ah, flying lessons. Right. You know, I was going to have them. And then, oh, you total idiot. Hey, what's the next part of the plane? But also, There's I suppose there, that, um, okay, let's say you're working for a corporation and you're getting paid 150 a day. Essentially, when you're working for yourself, you are the corporation. So that's exactly what you're saying, right? So obviously, the extra, what is it, 350 the corporation takes because they have overhead and all that kind of stuff. These are government signs. Whereas, if you're working for yourself, at the condo, the you have overhead, but it's, it's quite a bit different. Consulting. Ah, you know, yes, like rent and, Fresh from you know, whatever utilities, etc., etc. Et Those relaxed. are your overheads. They're just spent in a right different this manner. From the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's easier ways. And this sounds extreme, T. Even for you, can't we rethink? I mean, how deep are you into it? How deep? Yeah. I've yeah, precisely. Sub, I've got a big helicopter. I've been researching this since I got to LS. Those guys, Wade and his cousin Floyd, are expecting a paycheck. Hey, hey, here's the sub. Floyd, wait, wait in the hangar. This is our chopper, I guess. Yeah, look at this thing. This game's got it all. It's got airplanes, got submarines, got helicopters. Of course, cars. But it isn't all sunshine and roses. I have to keep the work coming in. Yeah, exactly. Yep, you get paid no matter what. You need in the corporation. Oh. Go back, go back. Over the submarine, it'll hook up. Wait, I can't go backwards. Dude, I'm trying. <laughs> He's like, come on, can't you fly low over the sub? Hover low above the submarine. I, I, dude! That, no, I can't! <laughs> Oh man, how do you flip and hover, dude? Get the chopper over the submarine and they'll hook together. Yeah, honestly, it sounds like it'd be a great system going for yourself. Those are crazy benefits. Yeah, I, I mean it is. Different strokes. Yeah, exactly, hover dude. Over me and it'll connect. Yeah, you know, like just my thing was. I uh I always had liver disease, so how the mm, do I hover? Is there a specific button I press? I don't get it. The heck? Yeah. Aircraft. Toggle grappling hooks. E. Toggle landing gear. Toggle aircraft weapon camera. Oh, wait, maybe I could do that. Hmm. Frank, you want to help him with the stick? He needs to be hovering just above the sub. Were you too busy shipping mimosas by the pool Woo. to take your flying lessons? 
No. Where are you flying off to? <laughs> I'm trying to flip and hover, bro. A lot harder than it looks. Oh yeah. Whoa, hello. Where are you going, Michael? This is really ridiculously hard. Hover low above the submarine. Can you handle that, Michael? Uh, hey. He forgot to pick up the submarine, genius. Dude, calm down. I'm coming, man. Oh, this is stupid. Stupid hard. What the heck? Pull this score without me? Come back and pick me up. Hover over me and it'll connect. All right, I, I'm, I'm hovering, bro. Come on, connect. She's finally. All right. <laughs> You know, it's like I, I had, I had a lot of advance notice, so we were lucky in that sense. We had like 11 years notice basically before I needed a liver transplant. In fact, I, I almost like, yes, can say that I didn't need a liver transplant at that very moment when I did, but I think with liver issues is it's very unpredictable. So if I if I didn't take a liver transplant when I did, you you would never be um, sure on when your liver would conk out. You know. Like one minute you're doing fine, the next minute you're in the hospital and having issues and stuff. So, like I was, I was, um, I almost want to say in perfect health, but obviously my liver wasn't. But aside from that, I was in decent health. Still am, in fact, you know, afterwards. I guess we're gonna go drop off on that thing, possibly. Or near that thing. Is that the oil rig that we have to drop off at? There it is, yep. <clears throat> hey, oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, we got the liver transplant. I got a liver transplant like three years ago. Oh god, we're gonna... Oh! Uh. How do I release it? Ah, we're gonna drown! <laughs> it didn't tell me how to release this stupid thing. I swear just E was... E was the uh, release. What the heck? Don't tell me I gotta hook up to it first. Oh, thank God. I did press E. What the heck? Alright. Hold on, I haven't got the Terrakify app up yet. The app is live. I'm reading the time. signal. Here we go. Trackify allows you to locate a target in the world. Oh, dolphins. All right, left shift and left control to go down. Got it. Okay. All righty, tiny McFlyty. I'm down here. My phone's hooked up to the sensors on the sub. Boop, boop, boop. I got an app here that should pick up the signal. Ah, it's relaying oh. the Stop, Windows. Agnostics from this thing. Come on, get to it, man. An ex army helicopter hovering. Like I can't imagine. An app would work underwater like that. But okay. 
It goes with the story, so it's we, it's what we need. It better put me to sleep hey, way before we get to the operating room. <laughs> yeah, dude. Abyss, and I, like it, I it really, the first portion of the uh, thing really sucked because I was in the like room where they check your vitals and all that kind of stuff, and they wanted to put a like a needle in my my wrist. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a, a vein like right right on your wrist it's hard to say I guess like basically in the middle of your wrist by your palm like right here and uh, they were trying to put a needle there but the lady just kept missing like the vein and then there's there's nerves right I mean, there and it kept like just like jamming my my nerve and she just kept missing and missing and thankfully she called over like after like three times she called over one of the dudes like above her and she was like he or she was asking him if we, we needed to do that right this moment and he he said no since since you're so young and in good health that you don't have to worry about it we'll, we'll do that in the operating room so i was like oh thank goodness because she, she definitely couldn't hit it. <laughs> We're going down, right? Oh my gosh. How deep are we going? Oh my goodness. Those are rocks, huh? Holy heck. We are going down, right? I believe so. This is so cool, man. We're getting so deep. Those aren't whales, are they? <laughs> That'd be crazy if those were whales. No, we're at the bottom of the ocean that's so crazy needles are fine as long as I don't look and they they know me oh dude I have no problem with needles thank goodness it though it's been secured to the seabed I'll see if I can you know like if, if I was a type of person that would have issues with needles I would be very unhappy right now because that's literally like my life doctors and needles and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> gave blood last year giving the blood was fine but I absolutely hated the finger prick part oh man I don't know what it would be like to give blood I think I tried one time and I told them I had liver disease and they were like nah <laughs> I can't so I don't know if I could give blood now that I have a liver ha had a liver transplant alright so what are we doing here what are we, what are we I don't even know what we're doing Mission, release this is a submersible near the test site. Use Trackify app to locate it. Okay, how do I release the submersible? E? I have the I'm oh, well. Alright, well we got the device. That's what we needed. <laughs> Alright. Hey man, so, uh, got the thing. What is it? We'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, what it look like? What you think it is? Uh, Looks it was like hooked into the rock, maybe on a CO2 line, so container. Could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis, or no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. They had, never I have nothing there. like diabetes. Yeah, the good kind. Yeah, dude. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah. Di for sure. Doing uh, the test for like diabetes. It's like well a little paid. prick, but it just still kind of sucks. Like it's real tiny and real fast. I did that for a little while, checking my blood and stuff. What at one point in my life, um, like maybe two or three years Let's go, before, We're maybe like two years you. before my liver transplant, or maybe only a year, really. Um, I started getting like really high Get glucose there, levels, man. really low, I should say. I'm sorry really low glucose levels and I was starting to get like at certain points I was getting confused and stuff like just disoriented and all that kind of stuff I, I, it even happened at work a couple of times and one time they had to call the ambulance because I was literally I could tell you kind of how I felt I just felt like 
I was almost like wandering around my workplace and I couldn't think straight like I knew what I had to do but I couldn't process that through my mind I couldn't I just didn't understand what exactly how to how to do what I needed to do I guess like I knew what I had to do but I couldn't do it it was just it's just really weird yeah yeah like a really foggy mind it was it was insane like I've never had that feeling before and I haven't had it since since my transplant so like I went to the doctors and stuff and they were just suggesting that I eat, eat healthier and stuff but like I don't really eat that bad in the first place so I don't know what the heck they were you know wanted me to do I don't eat terrible I do probably not eat the best but they wanted me to basically eat like more protein mainly Yeah, thankfully everything's all good now, man. We are doing very well. I'll tell you another story about the insurance. Speaking of the insurance, my daughter, she was born premature, the youngest one. And had to be in the hospital for 72 days. So that's another thing about our insurance that we just can't by them being without of it without it Come on, I just need to go forward a little bit more got it did we get it yeah, yeah. now come on let's go back to the airfield push the stick Michael we gotta move push the stick I found the stick. how are we going dude on my phone which means the private army guardian can find it pretty easy too ah oh, you gotta be choking me Making protein shakes with protein powder is fun. Yeah. Oh, Mary Weather boats coming. Uh oh. Right at us. Frank, take one of those guns and see what you can do about our tail. I don't. I don't have a gun. Hello. Helicopter on the right with a few more boats. Oh, steady. Here we go. Oh, it's just what like a Gatling gun. <laughs> oh no, they have a dog. I wonder if that was just a regular person <laughs> with a dog. Poor guy. Look at that thing. Where are they at? Bro. Ah, here's another one. Hey, He's gonna crash. He's still shooting at me. You're gonna die, bro. Tastes like milkshakes if you're into that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. I was making shakes for a while with uh, and some sort of grain. I'm trying to think of the little grain that I was putting in there. But I never bought protein, like protein powder before. I never did any of that. Like, we got a place called Supplement Superstore around here. It's pretty big. I'm sure it's. I don't know. I feel like it's a big place, so it might not be necessarily the most reasonable price but it's popular that's for sure oh, that looks painful i don't feel pain but if i did oh yeah that would have been painful i'll do what i can what looks painful i don't even know what you're talking about dude i have to go 
go get the dog. Being noisy. And I don't have his beeper collar on. I'll be right back. Be right back. All right, I'm back. It's funny, he knows, like, when I, I grab the collar, he knows. He's like, oh no, not the collar, dude. Like, it's not like we shock him or anything, it's just, I guess he knows that he's not supposed to bark, so right, he's being punished, kind of. He went to his kennel. He was just, like, sitting in there. I looked for him, I was like, where'd he go? And then he disappeared. And then next thing you know, he's in the... This kennel. Hang in there, man. It'd be a lot easier to if you didn't smack me around. Oh, he's he's in that sub. That's why he's like calling at me, like, dude, quit shaking me and begging me. All right, we got it. Fly low over the airstrip and release the submersible. Oh, we don't want to be too high. Where, where's our uh, our semi? What the heck? I guess we're not. I guess we're not taking it back. What's it been? Not ten years. After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're going to put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you, I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese. Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did. Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. And drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. Wait, we gotta put it back? You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper. Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! Oh, man. Right, Seriously? On that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too. Dang, what a waste of time, man. What the heck? Ow. Ow, dude. Crazy, Trevor. <laughs> he is pissed off. Oh, my God. He is so pissed off.